Hi guys, today we're going to go through the photoelectric effect. A gold leaf electroscope was negatively charged and light of different wavelengths was shone onto the zinc plate. First they tried red light and nothing happened. Classically, by increasing the intensity of the red light, electrons should start to fly off, but nothing happened. Only when light was in the UV part of the spectrum did electrons start to fly off, and eventually this discharged the gold leaf. Now, wave theory cannot explain these phenomena, as the energy of a wave depends on the intensity or the brightness, so you'd expect that by increasing the amount of red light, eventually the amplitude of the red light would be so intense that the electrons should be able to be knocked off, but this was not seen. According to the wave theory, bright red light should work, but it doesn't. So this is where Albert Einstein came to the rescue. Einstein said that light travels in tiny packets called quanta. The energy of each quanta is given by its frequency. And here we've got an equation, so E is the energy of the little packet, or the little photon of light. H is Planck's constant, and F is the frequency of the light measured in hertz. Each metal has a minimum energy needed for an electron to be emitted, and this is known as the work function. So for an electron to be emitted, the energy of the photon coming in must be greater than that of the work function. The excess energy is the kinetic energy of the emitted electron. And this is Einstein's photoelectric equation. So EK is the electron's kinetic energy that flies off. The photon frequency, that's the frequency of the light coming in. And here's H, which is Planck's constant, minus the metal's work function. So this has got to be greater than this for the electron to fly off out of the metal.